Authorities searched a rugged and hilly area of southeastern Kentucky on Sunday for a man suspected in the shooting of nine vehicles and wounding of five people on a busy highway. Joseph A. Couch, 32, was named a suspect in Saturday's shootings on Interstate 75 after authorities recovered his SUV on a service road near the crime scene. They later found a semi-automatic weapon nearby that they believe was used in the shooting, said Deputy Gilbert Acciardo, a spokesperson for the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. The search was focused on the remote area around where the shootings happened, which is north of London, a community of about 8,000 people roughly 75 miles south of Lexington. We're going to go in and we're going to find this guy, Acciardo told reporters as law enforcement raced to find Couch before darkness fell in the remote, densely forested area. Authorities consider Couch to be armed and dangerous, and they cautioned members of the public who might spot him not to approach him. The wounded one person from Kentucky and the outhers from out of state were hospitalized in stable condition early Sunday. Some had very serious injuries, including one who was shot in the face, Acciardo said. Um, we have numerous uh, individuals that are still searching in the wooded area up there. Um, the ATF, uh, FBI, and Marshal Service, their ERT, which is evidence uh, something, evidence recovery team or something, they're there to help us process what we've got so far and what we have thus far is last night we recovered the suspect vehicles in that area. That's why he is a person of interest. The vehicle comes back registered to him. So that recovery was made late last night uh, and th that's uh, why we had the information that we had. Today, just in the last few minutes, we located an AR-15. Uh, going to be processed, uh, and it is in a wooded area next to the interstate, uh, in a, a location that you could have shot down upon the interstate from that wooded location. Uh, it's on a Forest Service road at the top of the hill off of exit 49, uh, down another little trail off of that Forest Service road, uh, very near the interstate, but not close enough that the, the person of interest uh, could have fired from that location. He's had to walk on over toward the interstate, uh, which is where we recovered the weapon. So we're upgrading this individual from person of interest uh, due to the totality of everything that we've developed so far to a suspect in this case. He might not be there, and what if he's not there, and we got to get the word out that he could be somewhere else. Uh, at this time, yes, we believe that he's still uh, up in that area. The area, it's so remote. If, if he planned this, uh, it's so remote. That's probably one of the most remote exits along I-75. Uh, it's so wooded. There's no, there's one business. There's no residences. Uh, he couldn't have picked a, a, an area that is any more remote and difficult for us to try to locate him. That's what we want to do. We want to safely, we don't want our guys to get hurt. Uh, we don't want any more of the public to be hurt, and we want to take him into custody safely, and, and, it's, and it's, a, it's a big task. There were some severe injuries. Uh, there was an individual that was shot in the face. There was another individual that was shot in the arm, a, a very severe injury. Uh, uh, those were the most severe. A lady shot across the chest. They were very significant, very severe injuries. I don't want to lessen that. We, we didn't have a fatality, but we certainly had some very serious injuries that, that will affect these people for the rest of their life, I'm sure. Uh, we want to get him tonight. We want to get him before it gets dark again. But no promises, you know, we're going to do our very best. Vice President Kamala Harris took a short break from debate prep on Saturday to stop at Penzi Spices in Pittsburgh Strip District. One customer saw the Democratic nominee and began openly weeping with a sense of the moment, as Harris hugged her and said, we're going to be fine. We're all in this together. Dressed for fall in a tweed jacket, she talked to children and posed for selfies, saying that this trip was the best part of her debate prep so far. Harris said she was honored to have endorsements from two major Republicans, former Vice President Dick Cheney and his daughter, Liz Cheney, the former Wyoming congresswoman. 
People are exhausted about the division and the attempts to kind of divide us as Americans, she said, reflecting on her conversations in Pittsburgh. Harris said that her main message to former President Donald Trump in their upcoming debate was that the country wants to be united. It's time to turn the page on the divisiveness, she said. It's time to bring our country together, to chart a new way forward. Actually, I'm honored to have their endorsement, and I think that um, what they both, as leaders who are well respected, are making an important statement that um, it's okay and, if not important, to put country above party. And um, I'm honored to have their support, and I think it's an important statement right now. A lot of what I think is happening, and I was just talking with some folks here in Pittsburgh about it, is that people are exhausted about the division and, and the attempts to kind of divide us as Americans. And um, them stepping up to make this public statement, I think, is uh, courageous, but also for people like the folks I was just talking with, it really reinforces for them that we love our country, and we have more in common than what separates us. So. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Yes, I am. Yes. Best right. part of debate prep for you? What's your favorite? Being part? at the spice store, I finally got out of the debate prep to look at these spices. Best part of debate prep so far. Your main message to Trump in the debate. What's the one thing you want to really get get across to him? Well, there's a lot, but um, look, it's time to turn the page on the divisiveness. Um, it's time to bring our country together, chart a new way forward. Um, okay. All right, let's go press. Sorry, it's been reported.